Uh, one of the most complex type of technology we have and also the most basic, that's the human body. And as Ron pointed out, 25% um, of the emissions is from gasoline. And one of the, uh, the first form of transportation is walking. Uh, it's one of the best exercises we can do because we can do it our whole lives. It incorporates endurance, strength, balance, and it's a great way to get around. As humans progress, we developed a bicycle. I'd like to introduce Ms. Jean Paguin. Uh, first, some facts which have been stated that, you know, a quarter of the emissions come from driving, the CO emissions. Uh, and in a recent uh, 2000 U.S. Uh, census found that 75% of Polonians traveled to work alone in their cars. So maybe we should get to know our neighbors and fellow co-workers a little better. That might help us. The question for those of you who couldn't hear him was, is there anybody in the room today that has a great idea that hasn't been mentioned here today? Um, if, if you'd like to share it with us now, please. Nancy Kramer. Any kind of new buildings that you're going to be putting up, like HRA and anything in your towns? Make sure that they try to do as much green building as they can. And I'm involved um, through the National Garden Club and an environmental study group. So I just and it just sort of fit that I ended up somehow at home that all this could, could come into place with our sustainability and our turbines. And I just think it's so easy things that people can do. Never use plastic grocery bags. I've been doing that for several years. Reduce, reuse, recycle. We can all just do a little bit that doesn't hurt our um, life in general in the 21st century, but make sure that there's going to be life here in the 22nd century. Great point. And could you say your name again? Judy Dorr. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you because it's each of us cutting that 24 tons of carbon dioxide out of our lives that's really going to make the difference. And I'm totally confident that we're going to do it. But I think we really need to thank Judith again and give her a good round of applause because, as I said, with, it's with most things. Somebody had that great idea and was brave enough to come forward. And I think that Judith is a wonderful example of what one individual can do to inspire others to come out on a rainy Saturday when you're busy and it's pouring buckets to really work towards efforts that make a difference in our lives. Judith, thank you.